Hello boys and girls, welcome uh, yet again to another Lord's Day, the Sunday, the day of worship. Uh, remember boys and girls, uh, last Sunday we looked at uh, the story about the birth of our Redeemer and how uh, the Lord uh, from heaven sent the angel Gabriel to come and visit Mary. Mary was chosen among all the women. She was favored and so the Lord sent angel Gabriel to come from heaven to come down into the house of Mary. Mary was surprised. How can an angel come into my home? But the angel quickly told Mary don't, not to be afraid because she was highly favored, favored among all the women. She was chosen the one to conceive this child, our Redeemer, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so Mary was surprised, but she quickly accepted because she worshipped this true God. And so what did she do? She quickly ran to her cousin Elizabeth and told her about the good news and how the angel came to her and told her that she will conceive this child, the Lord Jesus Christ. She stayed there for some time, and when it was time to go back, she had to go and tell Joseph, the husband, not yet the husband though, but they were going to get married. But that time, they were not yet married. So he went and told Joseph the good news, which angel Gabriel told Mary. And so Joseph was disturbed, said, how come you are not even married, and then you are going to have a child? So. That night, when Joseph went to sleep, God saw that Joseph was disturbed. So he sent an angel to comfort Joseph and told Joseph that Mary was chosen and so he should not get worried about the relatives, what they are going to think. So he's the one who is going to bring forth our Redeemer. And so Joseph that morning, he accepted because God sent the angel and uh, assured him that all will be well. And so they got married and later on they wedded and became husband and wife. So boys and girls, what you have to know is that you have to trust in God and always depend upon him and trust him in all things. So that's it and then we'll continue and look into another story for today. For now, I have Auntie Annie. Hi, how are you boys and girls? It's nice to be back. We missed you and we're looking forward to today. Okay, we don't have Auntie Ruth and Auntie Lulu. Lulu. <laughs> so we'll sing a song. What's the title of the song, Auntie Ruth? We're going to praise the Lord. Okay. So today, boys and girls, we want to praise Him. Praise Him. All right, and we'll be looking at other people who praised Him as well. Okay, so let's sing. Praise Him, praise Him. Praise Him in the morning, praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him, praise Him. Praise Him when the sun goes down. Love Him, love Him. Love Him in the morning, love Him in the noontime. Love Him, love Him. Love Him when the sun goes down. And again, praise Him, praise Him. Praise Him in the morning, praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him. Praise Him, praise Him when the sun goes down. Love Him, love Him, love Him in the morning, love Him in the noontime. Love Him, love Him, love Him when the sun goes down. Wonderful. Well, boys and girls, as you have just seen, we were singing praises to the Lord our God. And it's so nice to praise Him. It gives us all such joy to know that there's a big God out there who cares for even us. Boys and girls, let's pray together, shall we? Jesus loves me. I love Jesus. 
Our Father in heaven, we want to thank you, Lord, this morning for all that you continue to do for us. We thank you for your love and your kindness. We thank you for the joy of being with you. We pray now that you would bless your words to our hearts and help us to remember the lesson for today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, boys and girls, as we have read, as we have um, seen in the past, that God promised the Redeemer. And finally, the Redeemer was to come. And Mary had been chosen oh, to be the mother of the Redeemer. And boys and girls, you know, as time went on, God's promise was being revealed or was spoken, was shown to other people. We read in Luke chapter 2 from verse 8 to 20 a story of a small group of people called the shepherds. Now, the shepherds were in the countryside. Okay, they were like on the farms out there in the wilderness, in the, in the outskirts of the city. And you know what they were doing? They were taking care of the sheep. And you know, boys and girls, the shepherds would watch the sheep in the daytime and in the night. And in the night, you know, they would stay up because that's when the lions come to start hunting. All the bears and the other big animals that want to eat the sheep come out. Sometimes, boys and girls, even bad people, bad people, would come to steal the sheep. So the shepherds would be awake, boys and girls. They would be looking after the sheep in the night. Now one night they were looking after the sheep, boys and girls, and it was night time. And you know what the Bible tells us in Luke chapter two, that behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around. Oh, there was such brilliant light. You know how it is when electricity goes and how dark the place comes? Then just imagine a bright light coming suddenly right in front of you. It would be frightening. They were afraid, boys and girls. We are told that they were afraid and the angel knew that they were afraid. Oh, it was frightening just to have someone appear before you in the dark at night and they are shiny. Boys and girls, the angel told them, don't be afraid. I bring you good news. Wow! I'm sure they were still trembling as they were listening to the shepherd bringing good news. And he said, I bring to you good tidings. Boys and girls, I'd like you to see this picture and to look at what it could have been for them. You know, they said, oh, good tidings. Boys and girls, the angel appeared and you can see the shepherds who are keeping watch over the flock, they were afraid. And then the angel said, no, I'll bring to you good news. How many of us love to receive good news? We all do, don't we? And so, what was this good news? The good news was the news that the shepherd heard was that the Redeemer had been born. He says, I bring you good news today in Bethlehem. The Savior has been born. The Redeemer has been born. You will find him in a manger. Remember how Mary and Joseph looked for room and they couldn't find any. They went from inn to inn but they didn't find any space and now they were 
put in a manger, in a stable, in a barn where animals were kept. And the shepherds knew what a manger would be because they kept animals. So they went and they went to look for the Redeemer. Boys and girls, the shepherds found the Redeemer just as the angels had said. Have you seen boys and girls? God keeps his promises. He never fails. So this was good news indeed. The Redeemer had finally come and it was the shepherds. Oh, boys and girls, did you know that one of the titles for our Lord Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God? Oh, the shepherds kept sheep and now they came to see the Lamb of God who would take away the sin of the world. They came to see the Redeemer, the Lamb of God who would take away the sins of the world. Indeed, boys and girls, this was good news. God keeps his promises. No matter how long it takes, God keeps his promises. And the shepherds were glad when they found the Redeemer. They found the Lamb of God who was promised to take away the sins of the world. And you know, the angels sang praises to the Lord. They said, glory to God in the highest and peace on earth. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and goodwill towards man. This was indeed very good news, boys and girls. Now, I'd like to ask you, boys and girls, have you received this good news? Are you happy to know the Redeemer has come? The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world? Are you going to be like the shepherds who said to one another, let's go and see this thing that has happened? Indeed, they were eager and they were happy to go and see the Redeemer who had been born. They went, they said, let's go and see this good news, if it is true. And you know what, boys and girls? They found that indeed it was true. The Redeemer had come finally. So we are going to sing a song, boys and girls. We're going to sing a song and I'll go through the words. The words of the song is come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Okay, into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Out of my heart, out of my heart, shine out of my heart, Lord Jesus. Shine out today, shine out always shine out of my heart Lord Jesus so boys and girls it's a new song for some of us and we are going to sing it because we want the light of Christ to shine in our hearts if you accept the Redeemer he will take away your sin just like the shepherds were happy to see the Lamb of God who would take away their sins and like the angels they worshipped God so let's stand up boys and girls and I'll ask Auntie Rhoda to come and help me sing are we all standing wonderful let's sing then into my heart into my heart come into my heart 
up, Lord Jesus. Come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Out of my heart, out of my heart, shine out of my heart, Lord Jesus. Shine out today, shine out always, shine out of my heart, Lord Jesus. That's all we had for you today. Bye. Bye.